Welcome to my channel, everybody. This is a 2018 Cascadia. And uh, you already know this Cascadia. This is the newer Cascadias are all over the roads now. Uh, we are in 2021. This is a 2018, so it's three years old. So there is a lot of people buying these trucks now because there are the ones that are left behind now. But still, there is 2016 and 17. But anyway, the point of this video is that I'm going to show you about how to do the oil change. In this case, I'm not going to show you how to do a oil change step by step because the process of doing an oil change of this uh, Cascadia on the D15 engine is pretty similar to older Cascadias. They don't vary that much. It is very minor difference. If you want to see full details on how to do the oil change, you can check my channel. You want to see multiple videos about it on how to do an oil change on a D15 engine. It's going to be similar, but there are going to be difference. And that is what I'm going to show you. What are the differences that you're going to encounter on these newer D15 engines. Mostly it is just parts. The process on how to do it is going to be the same. So for that, let's open the hood and let's check on there. So uh, once you start looking at the engine, you notice one thing then this chassis has more room than the older DD15 on the Cascadias. So this one has a little more room, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be any easier. It's going to be the same difficult, the same way you want to do it. So in, uh, we got the twist stage fuel filter, which is easier than everything. So anyway, the point is this. Uh, the oil change process on how to drain the oil, how to bleed the air out of the fuel filter housing and how to replace the oil filter is pretty much exactly the same. You are not going to do anything different if you have an older Cascadia or if you had an older Cascadia and now you have a newer Cascadia and you wonder how to do an oil change, it's pretty much the same. Doesn't vary. The major difference is going to be right here. The fuel filter, the separator. Fuel water separator is going to be the major difference on how to do this oil change. And it is not because on how to remove it, it is on the look of the filter. As an example, I'm going to show you the uh, filters for this Cascadia. And I have the other filters I'm going to show you later. But this is the fuel water separator. If you already know, well, you know how it looks. But if you don't, this is the way it looks. It is completely not completely, but it is different. You can tell how this one looks at the end over here where the suction portion goes. That is the major difference. The top of the filter looks exactly the same as the old one, but where it sits is completely different. So uh, I have this uh, older filter See, this is a older filter. This is a used filter. I didn't have a new one. That's the reason why I want to show you this used one. But uh, you see the top is, a, is the same. It's the pin zone fuel right there. Uh, but uh, see how the bottom end is? It's a little different. So that is the only difference that you are going to encounter when you are going to do an oil change to these newer machines, new DA15 engines. All you have to do on this one is make sure to align this one where it goes, it's pretty easy to identify. It is not something that you are not going to be able to find uh, with a, you know, with your eyes. So all you have to do is to insert it, and that's it. Pretty easy. Other than that, everything is the same. No major difference. DD15 engines are very common. Um, uh, mechanic, mechanical way, the way the engine is built is pretty common since 2009 all the way to 2021. It's pretty much the same engine, but just with difference here and there, which are not major. Um, as for example, I'm going to show you the fuel filters. If you wonder if there is any difference, there is no difference at all, but I'm going to show you that anyway because it is good for you to know if there is any difference in case you are going to do an oil change or you are looking for the filters for your newer engine, I mean the newer Cascadia, and you wonder how that is done. Okay. 
So, in the case of the filters, they don't vary at all, the fuel filters. Exactly the same filter that you want to find in the Cascadia Evolutions, the older Cascadia Evolutions. And the same filter you are going to install to the updated fuel filter housing that you can install to the older Cascadias, D15 engines. So, this filter is going to be uh, for the ones that has the newer updated uh, fuel filter housing older DD15 engines from 2009 to 2013 then don't have the three stage filter they are going to have the two stage because they have one now they're gonna have the updated uh, fuel filter housing and they're gonna go all the way to 2021 it's pretty much the same fuel filter doesn't vary at all also you want to have the screen filter this is going to be the major filter and it's going to protect the major debris that are coming from the fuel and um, fuel tanks if you don't have the fuel water separator if you have the fuel water separator this filter right here the screen filter won't do much it's going to prevent major debris inside the fuel filter and everything but the one thing is going to retain most of it is going to be the fuel water separator and that is the reason why it's good to have a fuel water separator and if you are looking for a truck you are planning to buy a truck make sure that it comes with a fuel water separator. I mean, if you have a great deal with a truck and it doesn't come with it, well, I mean, that's what it is, you know? But if you have an option to get a fuel water separator, make sure to get it because the fuel water separator makes a big difference on how the engine performs and how the internal components, the fuel internal components of the engine last. And the last thing I'm going to show you is the oil filter. All filter pretty much is the same, it doesn't vary the same way. Basic filter, it doesn't vary at all. Same filter. Uh, if you already did an oil chain on your older Cascadia, it's pretty much the same filter, doesn't vary. You are going to uh, use the same filter because you know we have the same type of uh, oil flow, the same type of mechanical components for the old system. Oh, the only thing that varies is how the new housing because in this case the old housing you can see the old color housing right here is a smaller on the newer d 15 engines is smaller because we have components in a different way because we have a different radiator and if we have different components so we are going to have a different setup but the internal components are going to be pretty much the same way they work. It is not going to be something that is going to be surprising on how it works if you don't understand how a DD15 engine works. If you already how to uh, do anything on a DD15 engine, a newer DD15 engine like this one won't be no problem for you. It's gonna be the same thing. But uh, that is the reason why I wanted to do this video, just to show you the major details, the major um, difference then you are going to encounter, which is pretty much none. It is just very little, but uh, it is good to, to know, you know, if you have a question, if you, if you wonder how it is to do an old chain on this one, it's pretty simple. If you've done the old chains in the older Cascadias, it's the same thing. You know, you have to be careful the same way. You have to bleed the air out with the, with the primer pump and uh, you have to um, do the filter replacement the same way. There is no difference. But I hope this video is informative enough for all of you if you wonder this type of topic. But uh, if you think that this video doesn't have the information necessary to fit your uh, necessity to know more about these machines, please use the comment section below. There we can uh, learn more, you know, uh, you can share your opinions or your questions, then probably these videos were, they, they, they didn't have the answer for you. So uh, that is important. And uh, if you wanna contact me directly, go to Instagram, look for me, Francisco Maya YouTube, you just have the information necessary, questions, uh, pictures, uh, videos, or anything else that can provide me the information necessary to give you the answer, the fastest and the best. So, uh, Wanna send donations, support to the channel, check the description of the video, I have details how to send support to the channel, so I can create content like this, little by little you're going to see newer trucks like these ones on my channel, you know, because people are getting them. And uh, stay tuned for all the newer videos that I'm going to come soon, uh, follow me on Instagram, there you can see different content too, uh, it's not just for questions, you can see different things that I'm doing day by day, so that way you can keep yourself updated, because I do 
videos there here and there you're gonna see what is the newest video i am working on so thank you for watching